a solve every problem. Do you believe that? So, my instrumental is with somebody on the drums. Just we are going to do it for five or six minutes. It's a very simple song. Maybe more good info. I said, Sean, no, no, no. I said, Sean, no, no, no. Maybe more good info. I said, Sean, no, no. I said, Sean, no, no, no. Maybe more good info. I said, Sean, no, no, no. I said, Sean, no, no. Let me be more ascension, Hallelujah. Is 
he descended to it. I get what I'm saying. Why did you let the snow? What do you do? He descended. But when it is out, what do you do? You are sent. So if you mean that, the reason the Lord is bringing us to the program like this is because he is taking us where? High. If you are going high, you need ascension. Do you don't know get what I'm saying? Because if your direction in life is low, you descend. But if you are going high, you are I'm not saying going far. You can go far in nonsense. I'm not saying going far. I'm talking about those who are going what? When somebody says you will go far, don't be too fast to say. Do you get it? Don't be too far. Ascension is for people that are going what? How many of you are going high? Receive the grace to go high. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Another thing the Lord said to me here is this. He said, it is the will of God to walk in the way of God. It is the will of God to walk in the way of God. But you have to walk. But you have to walk in the way of God in order to enter into the will of God. Now listen to me. It is the will of God that you walk, that you walk in the way of God. But you will need to walk in the way of God to enter in the what? The will of God. Now look at look at where ascension is coming. The will of God is not low. It's high. Are you getting what I'm saying? The will of God is not what? It's not low. It's what? It's high. There is nothing you can get in God that is not high. So it will mean that a man that has refused to ascend will not get things from the Spirit of God. It will appear as if God is a liar because he is not ascending. There is nothing in God that will be acceptable to you until you are, you are saved. Zion, you know, Mount Zion, the city of God. Is it low? Is where? Is high. So even Mount Zion, that the city of God that you want to go to is high. Heaven is high. The Bible says, he that is above is what? Is above all. There are things you will not know if you choose to stay below. Tell somebody close to you, go high. Another thing the Lord said here is this. He said, not everyone can walk in the way of the Lord because that way is too high for them. That's why I want to say fast now to so some people. It's like they want to die. Fast for three days. What they are hearing is die. Die for three days. Pray for two hours. They want to die. You know why? That way is what? It's hard. It's hard. You know, some people came for this program now. But some, somehow they just disappear. Why? It is what? It's hard. You don't carry something tangible if you don't wait in the presence of God. Are you getting what I'm saying? There is something that waiting do to your nature. As you behold him, means as you wait on him. How you behold is by waiting. Are you getting what I'm saying? Another thing the Lord said to me is this. He said, when you give your life to Christ, you are empowered. You are empowered to walk in the way. Now, when you give your life to Christ, what happens? You are empowered to walk where? In the way of the Lord. There is something called the way of the Lord, and there's another thing called the what? The will of God. Both of them are hard. Are you getting what I'm saying? Okay. Um, this is because you will need to, you will need empowerment to walk in a way that is hard. So it will be hard for you to walk in the way of the Lord if you are not what? Empowered. If you are not empowered, the assignment will be too hard for you to obey. You will hear God, but you will not do what He's saying. You don't get what I'm saying. <laughs> Many of you do not know. It is when you begin to walk with God that you will know that even to obey 
God, you need the empowerment. You will be sure. God will ask you, fast for three days and I will take you to nations. You love nations, but you will still not do the fasting. You will not begin to wonder what is happening to me. It's not your fault. You don't have empowerment to obey. When God speaks to you, it's not enough to hear. You need the empowerment. Otherwise, you will have a lot of things in your daughter that you are not doing. Are you getting blessed? Obeying God requires what? Empowerment. Until you are empowered to obey, disobedience becomes a lifestyle. Until you are empowered to obey, what becomes a lifestyle? Disobedience. Another thing the Lord says this, He said, Many cannot find the will of God for their lives because the way of the Lord is too high for them. When the way of the Lord is too high for you, it will become too difficult for you to find what? The will of God. How many of you want to marry in the will of God here? Now my question is, have you found the will of God? Have you found the way of God? Is it not too hard for you? You can dream it and not become it. It's not just about dreaming it. How many things, how many are those things that you have seen in the spirit and you are working with them now? Tell me. Those things you have seen in God, are you working in their reality? Why? Because the way to enter into them is what? Can you get what I'm saying? Another thing the Lord said is this. He said, if the way of God is high, then his will is what? Is higher. Because it is as you walk in the way that you will find his will. Listen to me, listen to me. Let me help the sister here. I don't know the Lord is speaking to me, but let me say this. Listen to me. No matter the confession of love that you hear from someone who is not working with God, they are lying. No matter how real that love confession is, they are what? They are lying. Don't be deceived by titles. Titles is not the same as mantle. What authenticates your title is the mantle. Otherwise, you will carry the title of a bishop and you will be masturbating with the anointing. You will take a sister to the office where you are supposed to do counseling and you will be sleeping with the sister there. I could not sleep yesterday. Because a sister messaged me and showed me a pastor. He will leave his house, come to Ondo with a, with a woman for fornication, for adultery. And I now begin to wonder every Sunday, what is he saying? Eh? <laughs> good confession does not make a good man. Are you there? <laughs> it is not about what we are saying, it's about the life that we carry. No wonder many people say a lot of things, but it doesn't have effect in the life of those that hear them. Because they only say spiritual things, but they are not spiritual. Mm. Have you get what I'm saying? They only say spiritual things, but they are not spiritual. Before you communicate with them for five minutes, you hear them say, oh, well, in the spirit, uh, they are uh, spiritual. They think by mentioning spirits and spiritual, they are sounding spiritual. It's not true. If what you are saying, if there is no spirit that is bearing a witness to what you are saying, you are a liar. There are dimensions of God. All this. Have you entered those dimensions? You want to sound spiritual. I could not sleep yesterday. The sister sent me the picture of the man of God. He's an elderly man of God. And yet, am I mocking him? No. I'm just telling you that don't be carried away by what? Titles. You need what? Mantle. What your generation is waiting for is the mantle. Elisha did not get what? Title. He got man. Listen. It is key. Let the mantle define your title. Otherwise, you'll be fake. Are you going to want to say? Let the mantle define what? Your title. Never give yourself a title that you don't have 
a mantle to defend. Otherwise, you'll be fake. Do you know the issue we have in this generation? A lot of people want to. The Lord came to me with a body one day, and the Lord said, Son, do you know the issue we have? I said, No, sir. He said, We have a lot of young ones who are hanging around spirituality. They are hanging around spiritual people. They love spiritual activities, but they themselves are not spiritual. When you sing, what does your song do to the heart of men? When you sing, when you talk to people, what does your statement do to the heart of those that hear you? Is somebody getting blessed already? Get a mantle before a title, and it will come. Okay. Then the Lord defined ascension to me. He said, what is ascension? He said, ascension is an upward movement into the will of God. Ascension is what? It's an upward movement into the will of God. So it will mean that it will be hard for us to find the will of God if we have not what? I just get to what I'm saying. I just feel in my spirit that there are a lot of people here who are generational shakers. Yes. There are a lot of you sitting here that the Lord has a, a special package for you. There is something heavy the Lord wants to give to you. My question is, are you ready to receive it? Huh? Are you ready to receive it? Are you ready? Thank God for our fathers. The ministers that have come up, they have charged the atmosphere. But I've just come to show you the word of the law. <laughs> it is a waste praying for an anointing you cannot carry. It will waste you. It will waste you. are seeing your room struggling with masturbation. You now come out and you say, eh, 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 eh. Take me to nations. Okay. If it takes you to nation, is it the same thing you are doing now? You want to come between them? Until God can trust you, He will not send you. I don't know why I'm saying this. Until God can, what? can trust you, He will not what? He will not send you. How many of you seated here quietly, looking innocent? Now, if I take your phone and I take your first three chat on WhatsApp. And we read it out to the open. We, we, are we still going to see you as a child of God? Are we still going to see you as a child of God? We are so concerned about what we do in the open. But meanwhile, what God is concerned about is what? Our what? Our secret life. May I not waste divine resources? Amen. Say to yourself. Another thing the Lord said is this. He said, everything about God is high. That is why you must ascend to get them. Everything about God is what? Is hard. That is why you must what? You must ascend to get them. Do you know what it means for God to be called the most hard? You, hello, tell your neighbor, you are dealing with the most hard. So go hard. You will never get anything from the most high until you go hard. The higher you go in the most high, the more the access you have. I was reading my Bible and I saw something that Jesus did. The Bible says, and the multitude gathered before Jesus. The next thing that was written is, and Jesus left and went into the mountain. I was thinking, I was thinking, I think it's time to show. When they, when they, now, if multitude gather around you, now I know you'll be showing yourself. Well, the Lord has been helping us. Uh, 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 uh. No. Jesus saw the multitude and what? He left for the mountain. Why? He knew that until he has met with God, he will, not, he will not have something to give to his generation. Some of you are not ready to meet with God, yet you are expecting a generation to meet with you. What will you give to them? Are you there? You don't know 
God, you want your generation to know you. Are you wasting their time? That's why we have a lot of people who we gather and they will waste their time. The word of the God is not coming. They are just there wasting time, counting in age and nothing. There's somebody here. The hand of the Lord will rest upon you mightily. In the name of Jesus. Another thing the Lord said, but because of time, we will not read this Bible verse. Psalm 24, verse 3 to 5. Um, you need to know that the fuel for ascension is holiness. The fuel for what? The fuel for ascension is what? Okay, maybe we should quickly take that scripture. That's the only scripture there. Psalm 24, verse 3 to 5. Let's be very fast with it. Psalm 24, verse 3 to 5. Who shall ascend into what? Hello? Now look at that statement. Who shall ascend into the hills of what? Now let me ask you a question if you are following this teaching. What can you say about the hills of the Lord? Shout it. Shout it. Shout it. Shout it. I don't know why you are scared. I'm, I'm not asking you to take a fast for 30 days. Are you there? Shout it. So for you to go there, what do you need? Are you seeing them? Yes, continue. Well, who shall stand in his holy place? Who shall stand in his holy place? Yes. He that has a clean hand and a pure hand. Yes. He that has what? Clean hands and what? Meaning that holiness empowers you for ascension. That's the point. Are you getting what I'm saying? I'm telling you this so that just in case you are here and you have one addiction, one simple addiction, you have to settle it. You have to what? Okay. Listen to me. The strength of sin is silence. Are you there? Any sin you are quiet about will stay. Are you, are you there? I'm telling you this so that maybe after this program, for those of us that are in this church, of course, thank God for the life of our daddy is there. You will go to daddy and say, daddy, this is what is happening. Are you with me? And if you are not from this church, of course, you, you can message Brother Stanley and just open up. The strength of sin is silent. That sin you keep will keep you. Are you there? Anything you hide will hide you. <laughs> That's the word of the Lord for someone. Now, if you continue that verse, now read the verse 5 now, yes? He shall receive the blessing from the Lord. He shall what? Look at, look at me. How many of you have ever prayed for blessings before? Okay? Where is the blessings of the Lord? He's on the hills of the Lord. Have you? What can you say about the hills of the Lord? Huh? Ha, I can't. Are you following me? Okay, let's come again. Where is the blessings of the Lord? Huh? What can you say about the hills of the Lord? So to go to the hills of the Lord, where the blessings of the Lord should have been asking for is, you need what? Shout it. See that. Ascension is an upward movement into the will of God. Until you have, until you have gotten to that point where you have wings. Okay, now look at this. You know, according to the book of Isaiah, the Bible says, those that wait upon the Lord, yes, he shall what? Renew their strength, yes. There are three things there. They will walk, right? They will run, uh huh. They will fly. Those three things are three realities. Are you with me? Walking, uh huh. Running and what? There are some victories you can attain when you are walking. Are you there? But you will do more if you can what? Run. Are you there? You will do better if you can what? Flat. So what is ascension? Ascension is the three of them. It's not walking. It's not running. It's, not, it's what? The three of them. 
In the realm of ascension, your discernment will be sharpened. You know when to walk, yes? You know when to run, uh -huh. you know when to fly. That is ascension. There are two periods in life when we are saved. What I'm reading is just the, the exact word of God. I'm not adding anything. There are two periods in life when we walk, when we are saved. Number one, the Lord said, when we start our journey, we are saved. I will explain to you. Number two, the Lord said, when we end our journey, we also are saved. When you start your journey, uh -huh, and what? Good. Now, starting your journey has to do with you giving your life to Christ. Are you there? The moment you give your life to Christ, the first thing that the Lord will do to help you is that He will bring you on what? On the way. Called the way of who? The way of the Lord. Are you there? Now, look at The way of the Lord is also what? Is also what? It's also high. Okay, this thing I'm saying, let's make it a reality. I want few people that are sincere. I will ask a question, and I want you to be sincere. If you are the one, just now. I want to do practical, so that the way I'm saying it, some of you will believe. You believe better. How many of you, you heard an instruction from the Lord? It was clear. Maybe personally from the Lord, or through any of his ministers. And the Lord told you, do this, and do this for so 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 thing. You heard, and yet you did not do it. Stand. Everybody is doing man of God, man of God now. Do you know where you find the greatest deception? Eh? You will also find it in the church. That's it. Because in the church, everybody wants to what? Be holy. Are you getting it? And I'm coming to you. And for a minister of God, the day you will hear the greatest deception in your life is on your birthday. Oh, man of God, you, you are the most high. You are the most high. I remember one of my birthdays, somebody said, Sir, you are the one that is fathering us. This, if this is the way you want to father us, just in my spirit, I know it's like that day. I tried to go on social media so that the lie will not be <laughs> now. Now, for those that are standing, do you know why you have been unable to do those things, even when you know there are instructions from the Lord? Do you know why? Now you know, right? It is because they are what they are high. And until you are saved, thank you, you can see. Listen to me. Ascension is an evidence of obedience. Who? Hmm? If you ever see any man gaining ascension spiritually, it means that man is living a life of obedience. Are you are you with me? Listen to me. What is the master key? Let me help somebody so that you will know. What's the master key? Can you see part of what I'm saying now? They know it, too, but they won't talk. They know it. And the reason they won't talk is they are thinking maybe I will change it. That thing you know, say it. What is the master key? Yeah. Hmm. Now, in their mind, they say, eh, hey, you just want to say you here. It's not prayer. It's not what? Do you know that your prayer is potent to the degree of the will of God? Do you know? Your prayer is potent to the degree of the will of God. Anytime you pray out of the will of God, in heaven you are making a noise. Are you getting what I'm saying? Is prayer now the master key? You see everything you prayed about you have received? The Bible says you ask and you do not receive because you are praying amiss. Prayer is not the master key. Prayer is a key, but not the key. 
Now, what is the master key? The master key is obedience. There is nothing acceptable in God that you will not access as you live the life of obedience. Nothing. Shall I give you a few equations? Now look at this. The Lord gave me equations of obedience and I was so surprised. The Lord said, if you are trusting God for anointing, all you need to do is to obey. And as you continue to obey, your obedience will be converted into the anointing. Now, let me hear. What are you trusting God for? Huh? Don't worry, just say something. Maybe it is a car. Just who are we? Huh? Are we happy? Yes? Success. Now, our brother is trusting God for success. What is the equation? Huh? No, let's, I, want, I want to give you the equation. Now, if what you need is success, uh -huh, you need to continue to what? To obey God, yes? And as you continue in obedience, uh -huh, your obedience will be converted into... Can you see it's working for everything? Let's try another thing. Yes, what do you need? You need the presence of God. Now, yes, let's use the equation. Once you go, yes? If you need the presence of God, yes, all you need to do is what? To obey, right? And as you continue to obey, your obedience will be converted into the presence of God. That was the equation the Lord gave me. And I began to put everything I need there. Okay, motto. Continue to obey, your obedience will be converted into... Ah, yeah. I began to put that. <laughs> Are you seeing it? So what's the master key? Huh? May the Lord help us to live a life of obedience. Our time is fasting. I need to start rounding up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you see from your spirit? Brothers, I want to pray for. I have not forgotten. But this, let me give you this last word. How many of you believe you are sent to a generation? Raise your hands. You believe that? What is a generation? I said this to my people some weeks ago, but let me say it so that somebody will be blessed. What is a generation? I know what you are thinking is a generation is a large number of people that you cannot count. Are you there? Come. Let me show you what a generation is. Because many of you know that you are sent to a generation, but you don't know generation. One person can be a generation. So that your friend that is in sin, if you can by grace help him or her to know God and follow God consistently, you are meeting what? A generation. Somebody preached to daddy as a boy. Meanwhile, that person did not know that he was preaching to a generation. Are you getting what I'm saying? That generation you have been sent to can be what? A person. Are you with me? Somebody preached to that um, Bishop Oedeko. Men are... Now, thank you, sir. Men are the generation you are sent to. Men are what? Now, in two minutes, we are going to sing the song. Then I'll pray with our three brothers. Then I'm done. Let's rise to our feet. You don't need to just connect your spirit, sing a song. This song is specially for what? For this program. Am I right? So sing from your spirit and let God do what he wants to do with the song in your life. Help me, me more. Come. Help me for Attention. Attention. Help me, me more. Yeah, oh. 
God has come. I saw a vehicle in the spirit, and I see your names written on it. There's a journey. There's a journey that you are going to embark on. It's a journey of impact. I saw a vehicle in the spirit, the brand new vehicle, and I saw your name written on it. It means that the Lord is about to anoint you for, wants to commission you for an assignment. So the prayer you need to now start praying now is, Lord, prepare me for the assignment what ahead of me. Do you understand? Because less than a year from now, you are going to see the physical reality of what I'm saying. There's an assignment before you. Your name is written on it. Nobody will take it. It's, you, it's for you. But now start preparing yourself for that assignment. I hope you get what I'm saying. Father, give grace in the name of Jesus. Receive grace for that assignment. In the name of Jesus. Receive grace for that assignment. In the name of Jesus. Receive grace for that assignment. In the name of Jesus. Now I pray for the three of you. You have served God. You have served men. Now your generation will serve you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. When you call what? Thousands will answer. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Let your name be exalted. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. For those of you that know that you can go now, for those of you that know that you have an assignment, the Lord is commissioning you for something, can you place your hands on your head? Let me just decree to you as I leave this place. Father, everyone putting their hands on their head, that grace they need to be able to be fruitful in the assignment you'll be giving to them, please release unto them now in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are empowered. Amen. Receive grace for obedience. Amen. Receive empowerment for obedience. Amen. Now, there's somebody listening to me now. There's somebody listening to me now. The Lord is saying, look at the signs I'm giving to you. Look at the signs I'm giving. The Lord is giving somebody some signs, and yet you are not seeing it. Look at the signs. What? I'm giving to Maybe you are in a relationship, and some things are happening. You are trying to manage it. You are trying to manage it. Meanwhile, the will of God for your life is somewhere else. But you are hooked up with Delilah. So I will manage it. I'm a child of God. I don't want to break anybody's heart. The Lord is saying, look at what? The signs. Look at what? The signs. Lord, we thank you for this session. Thank you for your grace. We pray for our daddy. Lord, please give him more strength. In the name of Jesus. Empower him. Thank you for his life. Please take him high. In the name of Jesus. And all together, we will not miss the blessings of God. As I leave, I want you to sing with all your strength. Let me be more. Let me be more. I say, Shalom. I say, Shalom.